Hi, this is Larry Jordan. This is an excerpt of a recent PowerUp webinar looking at the new features in Final Cut Pro 10. Mark, have Apple given any indication of improving audio crossfades? Make them easier, quicker? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Mark, watch this. I'm going to select these two clips, go up to the clip menu, and expand audio video. Now, let's zoom in, Command Plus. If I want to do a crossfade, I just grab the audio. Notice that I have expanded it, but I haven't broken it apart. And I just grab the audio and drag it. And if they, if they start to overlap, the magnetic timeline says take the bottom one and get it out of the way. So I'm going to do my crossfade this way. Come on. There we go. At the edge of every audio clip is that fade handle. See that white dot that I'm dragging back and forth? This allows me to change the fade. Same thing here. So I can build a crossfade. And if I control click on that dot, I can change the shape of the fade. So I can make it linear, which is really good when fading to and from black. The plus 3 dB is best used when you're crossfading between two sounds, say crickets chirping to traffic noise. If, if you need to hide something like a cough at the tail end of a clip, the negative 3 dB, or if you just want to have an ease in, ease out S-curve. The one I tend to use the most is the default plus 3 dB or minus 3 dB when I'm trying to minimize the sound here, but I still want to have it fade and not cut. Notice that the, the fade is, let's make this bigger. There we go. Notice that the shape of the fade is reflected in the shadow area of the clip. So I haven't had to break apart the clips. This is a piece of new knowledge that I discovered after I'd been working with Final Cut. When I first put my Final Cut 10 training together, uh, the only way that I could get any kind of a crossfade was to separate the clips, which is just stupid. Stupid for two reasons. One, uh, it lost the ability to, to maintain sync. And second, there's no out-of-sync indicator on Final Cut 10, which I think it needs to have, but it doesn't have yet. Well, this solves the problem. You grab the edge of the audio, just simply overlap them the amount that you want them to overlap. Grab the fade handle to create the amount of the fade, and right mouse click to determine the shape of the fade. If the clips overlap, now let's go back and make this smaller again. If the clips overlap, I can select these two clips, go to clip, let's see, Collapse audio video. Keyboard shortcut both to expand and collapse is Control S, and it now collapses. The problem with this is the fade is still there, and you can sort of see it with that little shadow detail, but it's not as obvious as it is when the clips are expanded. So if I'm going to do an audio overlap, I tend to leave the clips expanded so I can see that I've got something special with the audio. But absolutely, you can do exactly what you want with the crossfade without having to break the clips apart. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.biz store and look for webinar 66.